Hey there, I am D. So, today was uh, Doctor Who's mid-season finale. Not entirely sure why they would uh, stop the season now and uh, continue it later this year. Maybe having something to do with production or or whatever, but, but anyway, right now it ends and we'll have to wait until I think it was September, well, wait until then till you can actually see the end. Well, I suppose that's a bit... Well, it's unfortunate, really, because now things are getting interesting. I mean, you would think that, that the biggest threat that could ever be conceived for the Doctor would be one wherein the... Well, the Daleks, the Cybermen, the Silurians, the Santarans, or if need be, the Rutans, pretty much every single race so that ever appeared in this show would band together against him. Which already happened, but what what happened exactly was, to me, an utter disappointment. However, in today's episode, it turns out that they cannot be the the biggest threat to the Doctor. Instead, it's it's humanity that would be his uh, greatest adversary. <laughs> Which is considerably odd, I mean, the Doctor has spent most of his life clearly trying to protect, trying to save humanity, and <laughs> this is the thanks he gets. Another interesting thing in this uh, episode is that he pretty much gathered together an entire army consisting of people that he has helped before in the past. Now the thing about that is, well, well I suppose I should have, I haven't seen the whole Doctor Who series, I mean I, I've seen uh, all of the new series, I've seen only few episodes of the, of the old series, okay, few serials rather, the old series, but but still, it's interesting to see that for once, the Doctor actually... Well... Well, as we already know, he's helped so many people and he never uh, asked for anything in return, and finally he does it. Which I guess would become a problem if he needs another favor from the same people. <laughs> hmm. But even funnier is that among these people is... Well, at least one Silurian and one Suntaran. People whom he has opposed before suddenly owe him something. Hmm. Another thing that I kinda... Well, don't really understand is why did Rory have to be uh, a centurion again? So, what's to look forward to? Well, I guess... By now we know... Uh, who River Song is exactly, but it's not. But there are still a few details that are a li little sketchy, but I guess they'll become clear later. There's this whole thing about a a baby having to be saved, and and of course, why exactly do humans have a problem with the Doctor, especially after he's uh, helped him so many times? And how exactly is this baby I mentioned just just a few seconds ago a weapon, as is implied in this episode? And of course, the more uh, the more begging question is, how is the doctor going to be rescued from his own demise? But then again, uh, the last two episodes, well, as well as today's episode, actually. Uh, did mention some uh, so-called uh, flesh avatars. So the idea is that you would uh, place your own body inside some kind of machine that would, and that machine would uh, use some kind of goo that would transform into a body double of yours. Now it wouldn't surprise me if that uh, would become uh, the ultimate solution to, well, saving the Doctor. Uh, whether it will be, well. I don't know. Anyway, obviously we still have a lot to look forward to, and and I ask again, why did they have to? 
Why do they have to go on a hiatus right now? Why do, they have to, do we have to wait until September for this season to continue? Well, I'm sure somebody knows the answer, but... But oh well, I've practiced enough patience in my life, and I'm pretty sure I can survive uh, waiting you know, for the next episode. This was D. I'm signing off.